Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So I was talking to Damien in San Diego, a good friend of mine, and uh, we were talking about like emergency toolkits and what you carry in a car. And uh, we're going into winter pretty soon. So I wanted to make sure I had my, my road box all set up. And, you know, usually I carry a, a bug out bag, meaning, uh, you know, like a get home bag, a bug out bag, whatever, or a survival bag in my truck at all times. It's in there 24 seven, it's always on me. And I always have my EDC, my everyday carry on myself, on my person, where I carry my fire steel and my knife and all my stuff, you know, my multi-tool, whatever. You guys have seen videos of that. But this is a emergency road box and I'll uh, flip this open. And I'll show you what I carry in this thing. So obviously got my buddy's stickers on here. Got Edge of Eternity and Paco's sticker and my sticker and Resto Rob on YouTube. And then this is our shop here and the 615 Customs. Honest Peyton Speed Shop. And then uh, this is just a cheap Husky toolbox. Flips open and you got a tray. This tray is actually out of something else. It was just something I had in my junk laying around. And I, I have a big set of half inch socket. Uh, they're shallows. And uh, I'm gonna try to make this video quick though. But uh, this is uh, metric and standard. But what I wanted to show you real quick is everything that I can carry in this box in my truck. And I could literally just throw this underneath the seat of the back, the back seat of the truck. <clears throat> and, uh, and this is in there every day. So if something happens, I know I got tools on me. And with everything that I have here, I mean, you can pretty much rebuild a motor on the side of the road if you needed to. <laughs> There's a, and like I said, I'm just gonna go through it real fast just to kind of explain why I carry this, some of this stuff. Uh, the wire, obviously, you know, for repairs, holding the muffler up or something like that. Some uh, hose clamps in case you break a radiator, or you gotta clamp something up, whatever. Uh, battery cleaner, some sandpapers, emery cloths, and there's some more in there. And then I got this because like on the older stuff that we drive, a lot of times we'll throw this in our, uh, in our older vehicles, when we're, this toolbox, when we're going somewhere, Emery cloth style, uh, a woman's uh, fingernail file. And I use that for like points in a distributor. And then a spark plug gapper tool, black tape for some electrical problems. So earplugs, if I'm on the side of the road and banging on something, it's loud and it hurts my ears or whatever, I don't know. Or if you're really cold because it gets like down to like 65 below here in Minnesota. So sometimes you need earplugs just to keep the cold out of your ears. And uh, some pencils, pens, a memo book or a notebook, whatever you want to call it, just for writing some parts numbers down or some phone numbers or whatever. Some magnets. Uh, this is a you know tire gauge, uh, carpenter's knife or carpet knife, whatever you, whatever you guys want to call them. And then uh, some quarter inch stuff. This is a whole quarter inch set, metric and standard, uh, deep and shallow. And then I got some uh, dikes, cutters, and some needle nose with some cutters, putty knife, and I got a whole set of metric wrenches and a whole set of standard wrenches. And then I have some rags to wipe stuff off so you can see numbers or whatever, or if you have to wipe your hands off. And I also put in uh, like this stuff here, instead of just putting in like, uh, you know, hand cleaner or whatever, if you put hand sanitizer, you can make a fire with it. So think about that. You can make a fire with that stuff, you know, with a spark. That way, like in Minnesota, if you need a, in an emergency situation and you're on the side of the road, Having hand sanitizer, you can, you know, warm yourself up, start a fire with it. And usually we have some of those silver blankets in here, like the little heat blankets or whatever. But uh, this this was in there, this tarp poncho, in case you're on the side of the road getting wet. And it's nice and bright so people could see you. And if it's, you, you know, so you're not freezing your ass off when it's snowing or raining. And uh, the tire plug kit, obviously. And then usually we have a can of fix a flat in the truck also. And then I have a set of, I don't see my, uh, oh, so right here I have a metric set of Allen wrenches and then a, a standard set and then a big Phillips and some water pump pliers or like channel locks people call them, whatever you want to call them. Uh, some adjustable wrenches, crescent wrenches, uh, monkey wrench, pipe wrench, whatever you guys want to call them. A big ass hammer. And these were just extra that I had in my toolbox so I threw those in there. Some wire, some gloves, keep your hands warm, keep your hands clean, some wire brush, in case you have to clean off some threads or you know clean something before you put a pipe back on or something on your vehicle a lot of times we'll use a like at home depot and stuff we need a tape measure so i'll grab this and throw it in my pocket before we go into the store to take some measurements of something like plywood or two by fours or something if we need something that we want to grab when we're shopping or whatever so it's nice to have that in, that in there safety glasses and uh, some other glasses uh, just to keep junk out of your eyes uh, you know sunglasses and safety glasses 
<clears throat> and then I have a deep and shallow metric and standard sockets, whole sets. And I have a breaker bar, and that's in case I have to take the lug nuts off. And I made sure that like on my truck, I have the seven eights, on my other vehicles, I have the 13 sixteenths and three quarters and 19 millimeters, whatever. All that stuff is in here. So it doesn't matter if I take this toolbox, throw it in my truck, Heidi's Jeep, or any of our other you know custom cars or whatever, we always have this stuff with us when we go somewhere. And uh, you know, I made sure that there's you know plenty of screwdrivers and there's still a whole bunch of stuff in here, but I'm not gonna show everything. You guys know what a toolbox has in it. Bunch of junk in here. But it's nice to have this stuff in here. And this is something that you absolutely, it's like a necessity to keep in your vehicle. And we also keep antifreeze, motor oil, some straps for pulling yourself out of the snow, pulling yourself out of the mud. And we have some uh, jumper cables. That is a number one, jumper cables. And in our vehicle, we also carry that bug out bag like I was talking about. It's an emergency bag with uh, a change of clothes and a whole bunch of stuff like uh, hatchets, flashlights, all kinds of stuff, uh, you know, knives, anything that you need, like survival equipment. It's got food in there uh, that's non-perishable where it won't, it won't go bad after, a, you know, it's like uh, MREs or whatever. And uh, also in the truck, we carry uh, blankets, uh, hats, you know, uh, beanies so you can keep your ears warm and stuff. And we also keep, uh, um, you know, extra clothing and jackets and socks and, and uh, stuff like that. So if you're in an emergency situation or whether you're going to a junkyard to grab some parts for your car or you're you know, going to see your parents or something and you break down on the side of the road, you got stuff and it's, uh, it's covered. You got everything you need to get your car you know, half-assed back on the road to uh, make it somewhere or uh, you know, do a full bone repair right on the side of the road you know, at an auto parts place or something. Well, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I'm just gonna keep it short. If you guys have any uh, you know, uh, questions down below uh, about the tools or the toolbox or anything, uh, any questions at all, you know, or the other thing that I'd like to know is down below in the comments if you'd leave, if I left out something, because for the most part, I carry pretty much everything, but I'd like to hear some of the stuff that you carry in your vehicles at all times and what would it be. Um, some of the other things that we carry are uh, um, wool blankets in our vehicle, because like here in Minnesota, wool is uh you know even if it gets wet you still have that that thermal value where you can stay warm but down below in the comments if you could uh talk about some of the stuff that i missed or you think that you would carry in your vehicle or something that's handy you know i'd love to know what it is like toilet paper we have that in our bug out bag you know uh you know put some stuff down below uh what you guys on an everyday basis what you carry in your vehicle i'd love to hear it appreciate all your comments all your support and i'll see you guys on the next video later